Police around the UK rely on a fleet of high performance vehicles. The PSNI are no different and tonight we're in Balamani checking out the new PSNI Interceptor team that are hitting the roads in NI. So Superintendent McGee, what do these new cars bring to the table for the PSNI? What's absolutely superb of these vehicles is it's just another, as you said, their tool in our arsenal. It gives us the opportunity that if uh, there are people moving through our district or indeed through the whole of the Northern Ireland jurisdiction who are intent on carrying out nefarious or criminal activities, it gives us just an extra opportunity to apprehend them what they're doing, to stop them uh, and then to gather whatever evidence they need to put them in front of the courts. So this new lineup of cars and the ANPR Interceptor team, what are they going to bring to the table for you guys? Well what it is Chris is another example of what the PSNI actually moving forward and using technology and utilising all of the other technologies out there to A find out where that the criminals are, what you know, worry about sort of moving throughout Northern Ireland in their cars and then giving us the ability to put uh, our vehicles in the right place at the right time in order to stop them, deter them and apprehend them whenever they do carry out criminal activity. So again it's, we, it's just an example of the PSNI moving forward with technology. The fleet we have here in Ballinamoney tonight, I think there's six vehicles, um, are we going to be seeing an expansion of the NPR team over the next few months? Well, I would say that probably depends upon demand, you know, I managed to get the vehicles down here now, a complete team as you said of six vehicles, but I would say that uh, once they get known, once their abilities, once uh, they start to become more utilised and the results uh, start to be seen throughout the PSNI and North, what will happen is that uh, the demand will increase and I would say you probably will see it increasing, but again, with six here, and uh, we will put those to the maximum use that we possibly can. So we know you've taken over the superintendent role, congratulations. Um, what is the future for policing on the Causeway Coast here? Well, thank you very much, Chris, and I must say it's an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be here. Like, what a superb place to be able to police and all, and what I actually see is I want people to be safe as they move about their daily day, their daily routine, as they're in their homes at night. I want them to be feel safe from the fear of crime as well. And that if people do then perpetrate crimes against them, that we have the opportunity to gather evidence to work with the community. I can't do it on my own. We need to work with the community in order to apprehend these people and put them in front of the courts. So that's my aim, is to keep people safe.